Hi everybody, this is Eric again, Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV, and welcome back to our video tutorial series on port forwarding for surveillance equipment. Uh, believe it or not, we actually almost forgot to make this video um, because it seems so matter of fact after having done it thousands and thousands of times. But I assure you, people will ask you, your customers will call you and will ask how can they log into their uh, surveillance equipment from the internet. Um, so the problem stems from the fact that most internet service providers, whether they be cable, DSL, satellite, um, T1, well probably not T1, but the majority of internet providers do not provide their customers by default with a static IP address. And what that means is that even though you've got everything set up correctly, your ports are forwarded to a static internal IP address where your network camera or your DVR is, is sitting. Uh, eventually the public IP address on the router will change and your customer will just be clueless on how to find it. Um, so this is, uh, this is a, a video that's mostly for people that are new to the industry or for, the, for you do-it-yourselfers. Uh, pay attention and I'll save you a lot of trouble. So I am on the network right now where my, my camera is. I've already got ports forwarded. Uh, everything is ready to go. So all I need to do to find it uh, on the LAN is go ahead and go to um, uh, 192.168.1.50 and that'll bring up my camera I can log in should immediately get a video feed uh, well, I guess I can type a password and voila there's my camera I'm staring at it um, however from the outside world of course this IP address uh, will eventually change so when it changes uh, what I would do is just tell your customer to always go view um, whatismyip.com and if they're on a home router or a, you know, a simple business internet connection uh, here's my new IP address. If I were to go to the outside world drop this into a browser uh, I'd be staring at my camera. So uh, that's the simple way to do it. Um, another thing you can do is just uh, go to Google if you don't like this particular website because of the advertisements or don't care for the layout or if it's down. Um, just go into Google and do a quick search for, oops, sorry, let me sign out. Do a quick search for find my IP address. And you're going to find a ton of these sites that do this. What is my IP address.com? Um, so we're looking for 74.7.157.161. 7 so that one, that one found it correctly. Um, IP address world. Let's see these guys. Yep, there's this one. That was really fast. So you might look at ipaddressworld.com. Um, uh, myipaddress.com. Any of these should work just fine. All they're doing is, is um, you know, reading the, the header for the request packet that was sent to their server and parsing out the destination IP or the source IP address for the request. Now, uh, a little rant, a little brief discussion about internet service providers and dynamic DNS. Um, first things first, it seems like I've worked with every internet service provider on the planet. AT&T, Verizon, uh, America Online, um, Cox.net, Comcast, uh, Verizon Files, you name it. Um, Almost all of them, if you get a hold of Tier 2 or Tier 3 tech support and explain very politely um, that you're not running a web server, that you're just you know, providing a, a surveillance customer with the ability to log into their home or their small business from time to time and view their surveillance cameras, uh, in general, these guys will, will give you a static IP address for the Internet and some brief instructions on how to set that up. On the rare occasion that that does not work out uh, you want to use a service that's called dynamic DNS and what it does is keep track of your customers public IP address or your public IP address for you do it yourself guys um, so that if your public IP address changes uh, they keep track of it and keep keep it updated for you and they do that uh, through DNS so DNS is basically just a service that maps a name to an IP address, just like a phone number or a phone book for IP addresses. So if I ping uh, www.apexcctv.com, 
uh, I'll see that the reply is from 67.208.35.76. And that means that my IP address for, or our IP address here in the office for apexctv.com is this, 67.208.35.76. And since I'm a network admin, I can verify that that's correct without actually going to check it out. Now you can try google.com. Um, any domain that, that's valid and you can browse their website will, will resolve to something. You can also use NSLOOKUP, which will give you all the IP addresses. So if I type in google.com here, uh, those are all the front-end server IP addresses for the various Google web farms around the world. And, um, of course, the Internet sort of has a built-in shortest path that will help me uh, try to connect to the server that's physically closest to me, the least number of hops. Um, for your purposes, you don't need to worry about that. So NSLOOKUP, again, is another way to find um, public IP addresses for various services. Um, those are all static DNS entries, which means um, they don't change. So if we go into Google again and do a lookup for dynamic IP address services, or dynamic DNS, rather, uh, there's a ton of providers out there. Uh, Ultra DNS is one. These guys, DynDNS.com, uh, they provide a, a free service uh, that any individual can set up one free host name for free. So I, I could do maybe apexctv.dvrdns.com, um, for example, and that would always resolve to my DNS uh, or to my IP address regardless of what it becomes. I've done a video, uh, for those of you who are interested, on actually setting up dynamic DNS through dynDNS.com. Um, if you go to apexctv.com and then go to uh, CCTV video tutorials on the left side of our website under help and info. Uh, you'll get a new window and then you can go look at, um, well if I do a search on here for, uh, I guess if we go to network configuration guides first and then do a search for dynamic, uh, there's how to set up dynamic DNS service. So I've already made a video on, on how to actually set it up, I won't cover it for you here. Um, do yourself a favor, save yourself some tech support calls, and go ahead and set this up for your customers. They'll really appreciate it. Uh, it'll set you apart professionally by, by um, not having to deal with so many tech support calls, and, and people will tell their friends that once you set up the system, they never had to call you to log in, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, again, the service provides <coughs> one free account per individual is their license agreement. Uh, another option, and this is what we do, is to just you know, go ahead and, and pay DynDNS.com the 15 bucks a year or whatever and get a whole bunch of, you know, a whole, the possibility to afford a bunch of domains and, um, and just consider it a cost of doing business and provide it for your customers free so they don't have to go digging through their own email and keep track of their own server settings and all those kinds of things. Uh, you can manage it for them and again, it's just a way to set yourself apart professionally. Um, Okay, so that's my rant on dynamic DNS. Again, if they don't want to do it and their, their public DNS changes, just tell them to go to whatismyip.com. It'll pull it right up, and uh, they'll be able to get to it. Uh, you do need to educate them that if they're somewhere other than where their DVR is, this won't work. So if I'm sitting at home, this is going to give me the IP address for my router at home. So, you know, typically if it's a bar owner or a... Um, restaurant owner or uh, small business of, of any kind they'll have somebody there at the office that can jump online um, you know so just teach them hey if your if your IP address looks like it's changed and you can't reach your cameras call the office have somebody go to this website for you and read this IP address and then they'll be able to get in okay everybody this has been our training video on um, public IP addresses and uh, and Eric's personal rant on dynamic DNS we hope you've enjoyed it uh, please check us out on the web at www.apexcctv.com. Uh, we've got a bunch of these training videos. You guys have a great day.